Okay, something somebody wanted me to talk about was glass glare. How do I handle the glass glare? Well, let me tell you something. I recommend you go to your eye doctor. Everybody should, especially for professional photographers, we should have a really, really good eye doctor. And while you're there at the eye doctor, explain to him what you do. Explain to him how you are a professional photographer and that from time to time, you need to take out the lenses. And you would like for him to show you the safest and coolest way to do that. Now, what he's gonna show you is a little device that is kind of filled with sand. At least that's what, how it was whenever I did it. And this little device, you, you put a plastic lens down in this warmed up sand and it warms the plastic around the lens. And what it allows you to do is then pop out the lenses. And he'll show you exactly how he does it. At least mine did, no problem. Now I found that you can do exactly the same thing with warm water. Turn on the water, let it get good and hot, put the glasses underneath the water, and pop them out. Especially, and it was one of the things that you asked about, was the, the ones that are self-darkening. Man, you have got to get rid of those things. You Especially, you're doing something outside. You cannot have it look like everybody's sitting around in sunglasses. That's just unacceptable. So, that's one thing that you can do is pop them out. Um, another thing is where it becomes a little bit more difficult is the type of glasses. This is this is sort of what they look like. They kind of look like these reading glasses. But now these reading glasses, if you notice, have a little wire across the bottom. Some of them, it's just the lens that goes down here. Now those, those are considerably more difficult. You almost have to feed in a special piece because what happens is right around the edge right in here on the edge where this little piece of metal is is actually a little piece of monofilament kind of like fishing line that attaches here and here and you have to kind of stretch out that little piece of fishing line and then the lens will just fall out or it's kind of jammed in at the top and you have to pull it out the top well like I said it can be a little tricky so for one of those I don't take I don't typically do it I don't take those out um, if you can't pull out the lenses and you're in the studio outside you just you just stuck because the light is everywhere one thing that you can do with glasses is you can tip up in the back see out here have it tipped up and so the glasses tip downward now that helps with the glare see that glare there if you tip it the glass downward now you're not getting that upper glare all right and then you can put your light just a hair especially in like I said in the studio you can take that light and put the light and step you normally put the light here put the light here just a hair higher and it'll come right out that glass glare area you'll notice it disappears so tipping the lenses light a little higher those are two more tricks finally one of the other videos that we posted was dealing with glass glare in a group. I recommend you go take a look at that glass glare and how I did it because I will actually, on a large group of people, snag the eyeballs from someone who is not wearing glasses and lay it on top of someone who is wearing glasses to get rid of the glare. It's a really fast, fast trick and I've yet to have someone notice or complain. Those are the tips. Hope that helps. Talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye.